See, Superman to me is a character who is a misfit, and he's an alien from another planet, and he's trying to fit in. So there's a lot you can do with those feelings of not being normal. Christopher Reeves yeah, is known for playing Superman. He was wonderful. Uh, George but, Reeves. Yeah, it's a different, it's a different time now. You know, we're going into the new millennium. So Superman's like a voice that, as I said, will go around the world, and and so. What do I want to say? You know, I, I got an opportunity here to take that voice and and to and to say something positive with it. And so, I think it's time to to re-examine the the myth of Superman. I've always believed in in, uh, in comic books and and the importance of comic books for children, especially when they're handled right, because they they had a a pretty interesting impact on my my childhood. Um, it's like the English have Shakespeare and they're very proud of it and the Greeks had their myths and America has Superman and oh. Batman and <laughs> Mickey Mouse and this right. is our major export so it's something that I wanna if, if it does happen I wanna treat uh, as though it, it, it's gonna go out to children all around the world and that, that's you have to be very responsible with that that kind of power in fact you're, you're you named yourself after an action hero yeah Luke Cage, Cage yeah African-American superhero. He was uh, Luke Cage, Power Man. Yeah. yeah. So this is something you've always wanted to kind of do? Yes. Get into yeah, the tights I mean, and... The right, well, the right way. I mean, a lot of children out there, I think, feel different. And uh, so with any luck, you know, I might be able to affect kids to think twice before they tease that oddball kid because Superman's different, you know. So that's sort of my goal behind it. Is Superman still going to happen? I know it's been postponed. Well, no, it's it's on. We're, we're going. Uh, I have to uh, finish 8mm, which I'm doing now, which is a noir suspense thriller. Um, and then I go right into Superman uh, July 6th. Is it fair to say this will be a different Superman than we've seen before? Um, well, I think the, the, the other Supermans have been amazing, and, and Christopher Reeves especially. Um, but I, why I wanted to make this movie is I, I want to say, I know this movie will appeal to all ages, but I, I, I particularly want to say to children, you know, it's okay to be different. Uh, and, you know, kids are in class getting called weirdo. Don't feel bad because, you know, Superman's a weirdo. You know, <laughs> he's from outer space. And um, so I, I hope there will be elements that will be unique. And I think with Tim Burton, there, there will be, you know. And uh, I think it will have a lot of soul. That's what I'm going for. It's a great story. Uh, it, you know, the reason why Superman is an American icon for over 50 years is because in the simplicity of that story, it, there's so many levels. You've got nurture versus nature, the whole thing about you know, being from Krypton or your adopted parents, you know, what is it? Uh, you have the feeling of being an outsider. You have, wouldn't it be great to have an alter ego and be super strong? I mean, it's, so it's a wonderful story and it's, a, it's really the children's universe and I've never done a movie that kids can see, so I'm, 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 I'm really up on it. Well, how do you get ready for that? Well, I just, you know, with a character like that, without giving away too much, it's sort of like mapping your own country because the guy is an alien. He's from outer space. So it, what, what does that mean? Nobody really knows what that means. So it gives you a, a lot of space and a lot of room to create something. And I just want to start brainstorming and all kinds of ideas and then distilling it down to exactly what I want to say with the character. People want to know, when they found out I was going to talk to you, I said, ask Nick, will Superman come back? Oh, I don't know. I've sort of totally let go. Yeah. I'm not. But never say never, right? Or do well, you? Well, I, I mean, I don't want to seem like that guy that's holding on for this part and wanting right. because I, so I've completely sort of walked away from it now. If it happens, then maybe I'll do it, but I've sort of sh had to shift gears. Right, right. Well, I think people are saying, hey, you know, a few years down the road, if they come up with the script, yeah. I think they hope you do I think it. That, that was the idea, you know, to get the script right. Right. So if they came back and said, okay, now we have the perfect script, you would consider it? Sure. I think it would be fun, you know. It's, it would be sincere because of my fascination with comic books. And that's right. I'm interested in doing things which are pure, mm -hmm. you know, come from an organic place that's pure, and I, I think that would be pure. Because I, I think I could find the, the fantasy aspect of it. The child in me would awaken to it. But again, it's you know, I've, I've sort of walked away from it right now.